Hey guys, Cezo on Schizophrenia and Reading Into Things. Schizophrenia and Reading Into Things. But before we read into things, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've uh, conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. And I've been around a few preludes in my ears. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, it's got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like really, really great bread. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel, where me and the bird... That's right, that's right, we talk schizophrenia. OCS, OCS. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Mike the Wren, he flies in the sun. The social worker times 15 years. That's what he does. There's a lot of gap in chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score 5 and 1, and that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Advancing down the jib. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. People with schizophrenia, myself included, we have uh, a bad habit of reading too far into things sometimes, uh, at least in my instance. Schizophrenia, with schizophrenia, I used to read when I was younger, I used to read into things all the time, like deeply, you know, finding meaning in, in otherwise just... Uh, banal kind of uh, things, um, like a music lyric or something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're talking about this. They're talking about that. Reading into things, uh, uh, things that are just on a surface, taking something uh, maybe in a psychology book and running with it like crazy and uh, disturbing yourself. Um, I, I used to do that like crazy when I was uh, much younger. I used to read into things. Now, you know, you're older and you, you, you get a little bit wiser and you say, eh, everything is, eh, what's it matter? What's it matter? But at one time, I read into things all the time. And it's also supportive of ideas of reference, the delusion of ideas of reference, which is, you know, somebody uh, scratches their chin and you go, oh, my God, they they were scratching their chin because... Uh, they had uh, evil intent towards me, and they were directing it at me. You know, that's an idea of reference, and it's also a, an example of reading into things. So um, I used to do it all the time. I don't anymore. Now it's just like, yeah, everything's like, yeah. <laughs> everything's like, yeah, whatever now. You know, you take it much more easily. You don't take it so earnestly as I once did. Uh, give me great bread any time. Uh, usually better than the meal itself. Uh, give me a little uh, sauce to dip, and I'm a happy, happy camper. All right, guys, stay level, and we'll see you next time.